welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to see an application of cube. That is Josephus problem or suicidal circle. In our previous video, we have used a recurrence relation to solve this particular problem. In this video, we are using some other method to solve this problem. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages, Hindi as well as in English. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. To begin with, let us discuss the problem statement. The problem statement says, there are n people standing in a circle waiting to be executed or killed. The counting out begin at a point in a circle and proceeds around the circle in a fixed direction. In each step, a certain number of people are skipped and the next person is executed. The elimination process around the circle until only one last person remains who is given freedom. Given the total number of person n and a number r which indicates that r minus 1 people need to be skipped and rth person need to be killed in the circle and he has to start counting from himself. The task is to choose the place in the initial circle so that you can be the last person to remain or survive. So this problem can be understood by an example. Let us see. Let us assume that there are two persons in a circle. So the first person is having the gun and he is trying to kill who is there immediately right to him. So immediately right to him, person two is there. So he got killed. So you can say that person one is alive and he got freedom. So when n equal to 2, the first person is now alive. Now assume that there are 3 persons. If n equal to 3, the first person is having the gun. So he will shoot the immediate right, that is person 2. So after executing this particular fellow, he will pass the gun to the next alive fellow. So gun will be with person 3. Person 3 will now be killing who is immediate right to him, that is person 1. So person 1 is getting killed and person 3 is alive. So we have seen when n equal to 2, 1 alive. When n equal to 3, in this case, person 3 is now alive. Let us check what happens when n equal to 4. First person is having the gun. He is killing immediate right, that is second person. And passes the gun to the third fellow. And third fellow again kills the immediate right, that is the fourth fellow. And after he kills fourth fellow, he will pass the gun to the first fellow. And first fellow again, he will kill his immediate right, that is third fellow. And after third fellow get killed, first fellow get freedom. When n equal to 4, again alive is 1. Let us see one more example when n equal to 5. So first person is having the gun. He kills his immediate right. After the second fellow got killed, he passes the gun to the third person. Third person again kills the immediate right, that is the fourth fellow. And after he got killed, he will pass the gun to the fifth person. Fifth person will again start killing his immediate right, that is the first person. After killing first person, he will pass the gun to the third fellow. And now third fellow will kill the fifth fellow. And the third fellow will get freedom. So in this case you can see when n equal to 5, alive is 3. So can we draw some kind of a conclusion out of it? Let us see n equal to 6. For n equal to 6 you can see first fellow kills second fellow. Gun is with third fellow now. Third fellow kills fourth fellow. Now the gun is with fifth fellow now. Fifth person kills the sixth person. After he get killed, he passes the gun to the first fellow. First fellow kills the third one. After he get killed, he will pass the gun to the fifth fellow. And fifth fellow now kills the first fellow. And fifth fellow is now alive. 
So in this equation you can see when n equal to 6 alive is 5. So if we can continue like this we have seen when n equal to 1 alive is 1. When n equal to 2 alive is 1. When n equal to 3 alive is 3. Again when n equal to 4 alive is 1. When n equal to 5 alive is 3. When n equal to 6 alive is 5. When n equal to 7 alive is 7. Can we guess the next series? So after this, we can try these numbers. So when n equal to 15, alive will be 15. Can you guess when n equal to 16, who will be alive now? Alive will be 1. Let us try to see how these numbers got generated, how this sequence came into picture. Now you can see the pattern. When n equal to 1, alive equal to 1. When n equal to 2, alive equal to 1. When n equal to 4, alive equal to 1. n equal to 8, n equal to 16. In all the cases, alive equal to 1. So what pattern we are getting, let us see. When n is in the form of 2 to the power p, at that time, alive equal to 1. And let us see one more pattern. How the value is increasing. Here 1, then 1, 3, then 1, 3, 5, 7, then 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. So whenever there is an increment, it is incrementing by 2. Then when, at what point, it is restarting. Let us see. So we have to restart alive to be 1 when the next n value is less than or equal to current alive value plus 2. Current, let us say this is my current n value, n equal to 1 and alive equal to 1. What supposed to be my next alive value? It's supposed to be incremented by 2. And n supposed to be incremented by 1. So n is incremented by 1. It is 2. And alive is incremented by 2. So it will become 3. So 2 is less than equal to 3. This condition is false. So at this particular point, we are restarting at alive equal to 1. Let us see one more case. Here n is incremented by 1. n value is 3. And alive is incremented by 2. Here alive equal to 3. So this condition satisfies. So next n value is less than equal to current alive value plus 2. So this condition is satisfying. That's why we have just incremented. We will go to the next one. The next n value will be 4. But if you want to increment alive value, so alive plus 2 supposed to be 5. So this condition will fail. So that's why at this particular location, we restarted alive to be 1. I hope you understood. Here also you can check, next n value is 8, 7 plus 1, 8. Next alive value is supposed to be 7 plus 2 equal to 9. So your 8 is less than equal to 9. This condition is false. That's why we have restarted at alive equal to 1. I hope you understood now. So any n can be represented by 2 to the power p plus a. After a execution, who is having the gun? He will win. In our previous example, we have seen every time one is having the gun. And whenever it is in 2 to the power p form, the first fellow is winning. It means whoever is having the gun in the form of 2 to the power p, he is winning. So after a executions, who is having the gun, he will win. This statement we can see with the help of an example. Let us take n equal to 6 and let us say the first fellow is having the gun. So it can be represented in the form of 2 to the power p plus a. So 6 is 2 to the power 2 plus 2. So it means after two executions, we will be having 2 to the power 2 form. Let us see. a is having the gun. He killed the person 2 and passes the gun to 3. 3 is having the gun. He kills 4. And passes the gun to 5. Now you can see there are 4 persons alive here. So after 2 executions, 5 is having the gun. And assume that 5 is the starting point here. And where 4 person is alive. It means the 4 can be represented in the form of 2 to the power P. So 5 will remain alive. So how can we get into it? So after 2 execution, alive is equal to 2 into A plus 1. A is the number of person executed. 
So 2 into 2 plus 1. So 5 will be remaining alive. Let us see. When n equal to 1, I can represent in the form of 2 to the power 0 plus 0. a is equal to 0 here. So 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1. So one fellow is alive in. When n equal to 2, 2 to the power 1 plus 0. So a value is 0 here. 2 into a plus 1. This value is now 1. Now let us take n equal to 3. 2 to the power p plus a. So here a equal to 1. So 2 into a plus 1 is 3. Let us take one more value. For n equal to 4, it is nothing but 2 to the power 2 plus 0. So 2 into 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So alive will be 1. So you can check it for n equal to 5. Here a is 1. So 2 into 1 plus 1 is 3. So 3 will be alive. You can check them one by one. And you can find for n equal to 16, it is nothing but 2 to the power 4 plus 0. a value is 0. So 2 into 0 plus 1. First fellow will be alive. Now check it for n equal to 52, let us say. So 52 can be represented as 2 to the power 5 plus 20. So 2 into 20 plus 1 is equal to 41. So 41 fellow supposed to be alive. Please try it for some other values. Let us try for 36. Let us try the binary solution. One more solution is there for this. Let us try for n equal to 15. So 15 can be represented in the form of 2's power. That is 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0. Now the power which is existing here, I will write 1 for it. And I will take right significant bit to the left most significant bit. So now here for 2 to the power 3, whatever 1 was there, I took it to the right most position. Now, I will multiply this. 1 into 2 to the power 3. I am getting 8. So, 2 to the power 2 into 1. 4. 2 to the power 1 into 1. 2. 2 to the power 0 into 1. 1. So, this becomes 15. So, 15 fellow is alive. According to our previous formula also, 2 to the power 3 plus 7. So, alive will be 2 to the power 7 plus 1. That is 15. This task is given to you to check for n equal to 52. Please write who will be aliving for n equal to 52 in the comment. I hope you understood who will be getting freedom in a Josephus problem. So if you like the video, give thumbs up and share among your friends. In our next video, we are going to discuss about one more application of Q. So see you in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye.